I'm Inchara. I'm Victoria, and we are here to give you future guides an introduction to TK Go Guides and share with you why you should definitely join our CCA. We will now introduce you to TKSS Go Guides Unit, share about what we do in guides and about some notable guiding events and experiences. Here are our guiders who oversee the operation of Go Guides and the well being of the members Ms. Tan, Ms. Mali, and Ms. Nadia. After you join guides, you will be put into different patrols or groups. Your patrol will be like a family to you, in which you will get to know your seniors and juniors alike. The patrols are Exora and Sunflower, Swallow and Orchid, and Oreo and Dove. TK Guides aims to provide opportunities for women and girls to grow and lead and to become responsible citizens of the world. We do this using the five-point program, which is to nurture guides in areas of personal and social development, home, outdoors, international, and community. Both indoor and outdoor activities are used to maximize the potential and skill set of our guides and provide them with a meaningful and enjoyable guiding experience they will fondly remember. One activity we do during guides is outdoor cooking. During outdoor cooking, we make several structures such as kitchen dresses and tripod stands, which are used to cook the food we have prepared. Some food we often cook include chicken, s'mores and muffins. I personally really enjoy this activity and I'm certain you will too. Another activity we do is drills, which mainly includes footwork drills and matching. Other than being a vital skill set for uniform groups, it also provides us with several opportunities to coordinate with other guides and grow as a team. We also learn to pitch tents during Go Guides, and the experience is surely very meaningful. Not only does it teach you the different parts of the tent, but you also have the opportunity to hone your soft skills, such as communication with your team. Moreover, the result of having a pitch tent during camps is a very rewarding experience. Guides also love a good workout, which you can look forward to in our PT sessions, where we run, stretch, and exercise, helping us stay fit. We even play team sports, such as captain's ball and capture the flag. I clearly remember one year where us guides were fighting tooth and nail for the flag and even had to drag each other along the floor to get the flag. It was hilarious. In gadgets, we learn many different types of knots and lashes and use them to build cool structures with wooden poles, such as shoe racks, tripods, and tables that can be used during camps. Here, we try to collect as many badges as we can in our four years here. Additionally, we also learn many practical skills which will be useful for the future through badge work, such as gardening, accident prevention, using money wisely, and cleaning up after ourselves. We also make fun presentations to share our findings with our fellow guides, through which our self-confidence grows immensely. Badge work sessions have definitely helped me try and explore new things. My mental health had also improved after I explored my self-interest through the different badges in guides. Unfortunately, the pandemic has affected the way we conduct our CCA sessions, and hence we do have CCA sessions over Zoom occasionally. During these sessions, we often organize games and art and craft activities for our guides to do. ECCA has definitely provided everyone with an opportunity to try unique activities we don't usually do. A few notable guiding experiences and events are World Thinking Day, East Division Day, the annual social action campaign, the Patrol Leader Leadership Camp by Headquarters, the Unit Exchange with other schools, and the End of Year Camp. Every year, we commemorate World Thinking Day on the 22nd of February, which is Lord Braden Powell, the founder of Guides, birthday. On this day, we reflect on the global sisterhood and learn about Guides as a global movement with more than 10 million members in 152 different countries. We also reflect and educate ourselves about global issues, focusing on issues faced by women, such as gender inequality and sexism. And we also learn about famous women who changed history, such as Marie Curie and Rosa Parks. It is a fun and educational celebration indeed. One event TK Girl Guides participate in every year is the East Division Day, which is a competition with several categories. 
This year, with the team Empowering Women, our guides made several items based on it and clinched a few awards, including gold in the cheerleading competition, bronze in the snack making and toy making competition, as well as a merit in the singing competition. This event not only allows us to meet people from other schools in the East, but also learn more about the issues revolving women, making it a meaningful experience. This year, we also had our first student-initiated social action campaign, also known as Food for Thought. The idea of Food for Thought was to raise awareness about the growing concern of food waste in Singapore, and also within our means, reduce the amount of food waste in school. Through this project, we had several opportunities to try out different tools on the internet, as well as the hands-on experience with collecting food waste and converting it to fertilizer. And most importantly, learn the importance of sustainability. If you're looking for opportunities to explore hands-on activities, participate in a project with a team, you should definitely join Girl Guides. This was the Patrol Leaders Training Camp, wherein patrol leaders from many different guiding units come together to learn the important do-hows of being a leader, such as TCA session planning and how to engage the company. During this, there was also a unit exchange where we got to work together with guiding units from other schools and together learn important things such as map reading, sign language, and helping the visually impaired. Other than gaining insightful knowledge, I also learned tips on how to lead the company well. Lastly, this is one event we all look forward to, the end of your camp. During the end of your camp, we get to evaluate all we have learned throughout the year by putting the skills we learned into use. For example, the tents we pitched was for us to sleep in, and the food we cooked was for our dinner. You can even bond with your fellow guides through ride games, in which the patrols go around malls and places nearby the school to buy snacks, starting with the letters of a given special word. Furthermore, there are also cohort activities within guides you can look forward to, and last but not least, perform skits and sing songs with the uniform groups at the unforgettable campfire. Join RCCA, where CCA sessions will be held every Friday from 2.30pm to 5.30pm. We look forward to seeing you in guides. If you have any questions, feel free to DM us on our TK Girl Guides Instagram page.